Copenhagen can look so picturesque on Instagram, but how about in reality? The only way to find out is go and check it out for yourself. So we did. Copenhagen is Denmark's capital, both politically and culturally. Around 650,000 people live within the city limits. We checked out three of Copenhagen's most popular spots. Do they live up to the pretty pictures on social media? A photo of Newhound is obligatory for every visitor to Copenhagen. The handsome old harbor is one of the tourist hotspots here, as plain to see by the crowds. A meal in one of the many restaurants or just a walk past the colorful buildings along the quay is an experience not to be missed. Writer Hans Christian Andersen, a Danish national treasure, wrote some of his best-known fairy tales here over 180 years ago. Many of Newhound's restaurants serve the classic dish of Danish cuisine, smørbrød, a kind of open sandwich on dark bread. Often they amount to little works of art. Jeppe Tusen, chef at the Kumpasilt restaurant, sees Newhound as a place like no other. When it's summer and uh, everybody's sitting outside, it's just the feel that you want to sit in. There is uh, this uh, buzzing around uh, your ears from the, from the people that are talking in the corners and uh, to the guy the, the playing guitar on the, on the side of the harbor. It's, it's just the summer vibe. Yes, Newhound is teeming with tourists, but then such a picturesque sight is quite simply not to be missed. Another top site on social media is Rosenborg Castle. In the early 1600s, the castle wasn't an official residence, but a summer house for the royal family. For nearly 200 years now, the rather modest castle has served as a museum. On display in the knight's hall is the coronation chair, with legs of narwhal tusks, and the crown regalia and crown jewels in the treasury. The year before the corona pandemic, the museum welcomed over 400,000 visitors. It is impossible to have one favorite uh, object in this collection because it's full of beautiful, beautiful objects um, of very important, um, uh, of, of big importance to the history of Denmark. But you see behind me the three lions uh, made in silver. Uh, they are some of my favorites in this collection. They are beautiful and, and uh, in former times they were used for the crown nation. The castle may be a bit small, but it's big enough to fill a photo or two. And the exhibition is also worth a visit. The Tivoli Amusement Park is another must-do in Copenhagen. It had a good four and a half million visitors the year before the pandemic. They come mainly to have themselves tossed around on the many rides, on the over 100-year-old wooden roller coaster, for instance. The park dates all the way back to 1843 and boasts a very particular atmosphere. It's really cool, actually. I, uh, I read online that um, the grounds were worth seeing, no matter the price, so I came in and had to check it out before I flew out. I think it's very calm and uh, very easy going and it's beautiful. It's just a landmark in Copenhagen, something we're very proud of. And it's a beautiful park. It's very vibrant, it's a, a happy atmosphere. I think that's the best part about it. it. Makes everyone happy, even adults. The 20 euro admission price isn't the cheapest, but the atmosphere in Tivoli is an experience in itself. These three spots in Copenhagen lived up to everything those Instagram photos promised. For more great travel content, please subscribe to our channel.